Okay, right now we have three solar collectors that are filled with 90% uh, distilled water and 10% propylene glycol. Propylene gly glycol keeps the water from freezing and is basically the sweetener you find on your cereal, uh, the sweetener you find on your cereals. Uh, we need these collectors to be on a south facing, east facing, or west facing uh, roof. Right now these are facing west. Uh, for power, solar power, you've got to have them facing directly south. But we got these west right now. There will be there are tubes that connect these three panels on the top and bottom. So the cir circulatory system is, you know, kind of like in your car. Pipes will come down from the roof down to the basement where the uh, solar hot water tank is. That hot water tank will be filled with water. The propylene glycol water solution will go down about 175 degrees through copper piping inside the hot water tank. That will raise the water temperature to about 175 degrees. That water will then be uh, mixed through a ball joint valve to whatever temperature they'd like to have. 130, 140 degrees, 175 is entirely too hot. So, uh, they also keep their original hot water tank as a backup in case it's cloudy for say a week or longer that that 80 gallon tank has a big enough capacity to hold on it's really insulated it's ceramically lined so it'll hold the heat for a long period of time um, oh and it's also going to extend their their life of the regular uh, original hot water tank because it's not going to be used that much and we're just about uh, finished with the installation okay thank you you're welcome